Hello, friends. Robert Bevan here, author of the Caverns and Creatures series of comedy fantasy novels and short stories. With me is Sam West, and today we're going to be talking about the spell Aura of Life. Sam. All right. Is this the worst Aura spell in the game? I'm going to go with yes. I'm going to go with that. There are, none of them are great. This is awful. Is this... this is... How, awesome. This is contention for worst spell in the game. Kind that's of. what my next question was. I <laughs> not sure it's quite there. It's pretty darn bad. <laughs> this spell is abysmal. Oh my! Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna have to do a, a list eventually. Of the worst spell. bottom five spells. Yeah, it's hard to rank because they're bad in different situations. But this one is no, no, no. I'm talking about like when you get to the bottom five. Oh, yeah, sure. Just the, the worst five. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Spells that have no redeeming quality. Right. We'll just go through all the ones and be like, all right, what is actually uncastable here? This is this is actually uncastable, Bob. Yo, oh, oh, like, I know. I just looked at the description and uh, all right. Well, you, you can have the honors. What does this do? Okay. 30 foot radius around you. Concentration for 10 minutes. Until it ends, moves with you. Each non hostile creature in the area has resistance to necrotic damage. Great. Hit by maximum can't be reduced. Huh? If it starts a turn with zero hit points, it gets one hit point. Period. That is all. That is all the text of the spell. This is a fourth level spell slot for cleric to paladin. So at the gate, not a paladin spell. Not a paladin spell. Don't even think of it as a paladin spell because no, you don't spend a fourth level spell slot on this. You smite something. This is not. No. If you're a paladin, you see it as a fourth level and you're like, I'm going to be a helpful. No. Anything else. Um, if you're a cleric and you want to cast this a fourth level, cast Healing Word, because that's the only text that you should care about, and Healing Word is better than it by uh, 2,000 miles. It's not even close, and it's a first level spell. That's how bad this garbage is. All right, let's 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 go through each of these effects. All right, okay, resistance right. to necrotic damage. How much necrotic damage do you take on a daily basis, Bob? How much do you take? <laughs> well, uh, none. Correct. That's, yes. Uh, neither do my characters typically. Turns out, whenever the only things that would be hitting you are like Circle of Death, not really relevant. Uh, the vast majority of damage types are non necrotic. Even in things with things like Undead, they tend to be doing poison and acid damage more so than necrotic damage. So this ends up being like a silver bullet against three different spells. And frankly, or just tearing you apart damage, you know? The... Yeah. Bludgeoning and slashing tends to be a way more common damage type. Uh, there's not a single dragon that does necrotic damage, so that, that isn't particularly helpful. And you're putting yourself in formation to get hit by area. Like, if you're going into a to fight against something with Circle of Death, putting everyone next to each other to get Circle of Death seems like a bad idea. Uh, that's a good place to start. This could say immunity to necrotic damage, I'd still say it's uncastable. That's how minimum of an impact necrotic damage actually has on your average d d So few things use necrotic damage. The players are way more likely to use necrotic damage than a monster. Because at least you're like blighting the shambling down. That'll happen from time to time. No one else does necrotic damage, really. Like, if you're getting a resistance to a chill touch, is that really worth a fourth level spell slot? I don't think so. You no. care about a D8 damage of that tier, right? Like, yeah. It's not. And, it's a non and, and the reason you're blighting a shambling mound is because it's a plant. And, you know, most of the characters I've played are not plants. Turns out, uh, plant is not a common race when it comes to Dungeons and Dragons Fifth Edition. There are not mm. a lot of plant people running about, so uh, you're not protecting anyone from blight. Uh, I'll tell you that much. If someone's blighting you, it's a gift because that means they're not using a better fourth level spell. All right, what else have we got? Uh, hit point maximum hit point, cannot be hit reduced. point maximum cannot be reduced. And again, how often does that come up? There are single digit creatures in the game that reduce your maximum hit points, and that effect tends to go away after a long rest. So uh, if you for some reason, are going to restore creatures to their maximum hit points after this encounter, but not via long rest, and are against one of the five creatures in the game that reduce your maximum hit points, that is the only time this is applicable, which is to say never. There will never be an instance where <laughs> yeah. you will be wanting to restore somebody to its maximum hit points before your next long rest. It's, it, it's not going to happen. You in, at most it's going to be reducing like 2d10, 3d10 of your max HP anyway. And if you're in the upper tiers of the game, who cares? Right? Like that is just a slightly small, larger amount of damage that's not going to carry over. I guess like it's a counterbalance to regenerate if that's something you have happening a lot. And this is a counter counterbalance to things trying to interfere with the regenerate strategy. But like, no, that's not worth a spell slot. That's not worth casting this. For against the five creatures in the game that get it? Absolutely not. 
All right, and the last effect, the only one I think might be useful at all. Uh, Non-hostile living creature regains one hit point when it starts its turn in the aura with zero hit points. All right, let's let's push out this hypothetical. All right, things have gone to shit. Everyone is taking a beating around you. You as the lone cleric are like, great. If I cast Aura of Life at the start of those next creatures turns, if I maintain concentration till then, they will come back to life with one hit point. How useful is that? And the answer to the question of that scenario is probably not. Because most of the time what's going to happen is the things that are going in initiative between you and those creatures are going to kick the shit out of you, are going to jump on top of you and continue to try to kill you. Because that's when that would be good, right? Whenever you're losing a fight, a bunch of people are at zero, and you need to get them back all up. Instead, what you could do is go to a safer location, disengage, then move, and then use a bonus action to cast Masculine Word and bring everybody up. Way more applicable to a real situation. You are more likely to live. You are more likely to help your friends live by getting away the da- taking the danger away from them. You're less likely to take a beating. You're less likely to get the crap kicked out of you, as Pryor mentioned. And everything has functioned the same effect. And you're using a lower level slot to do that. So if all you care about is getting people off of zero, which I think we both demonstrated there is no other text on this spell to care about, you should be doing that with anything else. You should be doing that with healing word, mass healing word, any of the other spells. Let you do it from a safer distance. Do it more flexibly. If things are out of 30 feet of you, you're shut out of luck. If you have to run at the Trask to get up your Barbarian that was stupid enough to charge at it, why? You're just killing yourself. You could just healing word them from 60 feet away, run 30 feet back, and hope they get out in time, right? Because that's the sign of circumstances we're talking about here. All right, all right. Let me, let me play devil's advocate here. All right, let's say you're a cleric. You cast this, and then you can't... Or, I forget what... All right, like somebody else, like a wizard cast a rope trick. And so you got this, and you, the cleric, just run up and hide. You're kind of invulnerable for the duration of this spell while everyone else is attacking, dying, and popping back up again. So I remember our conversation about regenerate and how I said it just tells the DM they have to kill those characters. So if you're in a position where for some reason, I don't even know if the rogue trick thing works because I don't know if the three count as being within 30 feet of you because you're on a different plane of existence, but let's say it does. Let's say for some magical reason, you they can't kill you. All that's going to happen is instead, the monsters aren't going to give that creature another turn. The monsters are going to go, great, I'm going to spend my action and two attacks to give it two failed death saves, and then something else is going to hit it from a distance and it's going to die. And you just killed your friends because you tried to give them all one hit point as opposed to reasonably getting them up off of death's door and getting them out of there, right? All right, what, you if you've got, what if you got 100 villagers with you? <laughs> if you can cram all 100 villagers with it and Oh, well, so they don't even get death saves, so this doesn't even affect them, right? 100 villagers don't go to zero. They just die. That's Wait, how this game works. I didn't know that. Yeah. Everything, that, monsters don't have death saves. NPCs don't typically have death saves. Very rare monsters, very rare NPCs. The DM will be like, these are important enough. I'm going to give them death saves. The vast majority of things don't have death saves, and they just die when they hit zero. So those villagers, you're like, it's okay, everybody. I got aura of life. None of you going to die. <laughs> and then they get hit by a fireball, and all of them die. And you go... Oh God, I've merged massacred this town. <laughs> All right. I, I was just trying to give it something here. There's nothing here. All right. Yeah. There's nothing to give it. One out of five. Utter trash. A trap spell. Yeah, People okay. will actively do worse for spending a spell slot on this. Yeah, I cannot uh I cannot argue with you here. This, this is, is uncastably bad. Probably the worst aura spell and in, in contention for the top five worst spells in the game yeah i agree undoubtedly all right everyone that was our of life thank you sam and thank you everyone for joining us we will see you next time bye-bye thank you for watching if you found this helpful informative or entertaining i'd really appreciate it if you hit the like button below you needn't smash it a gentle tap will suffice if you want to see more videos like this subscribe to the channel And make sure you check out the links in the description where you'll find my Caverns and Creatures series of comedy fantasy novels, Sam's full review of the spell, and other fun things.